What's going on? Got an update. You know how I was telling you I updated my power converter, my travel trailer, and I went camping. And there was a few other things I did. I did some modifications and stuff. But anyhow, I'm gonna give you guys an update. It's been a few weeks, but I've been doing a lot of stuff, so. Anyhow, the mods that I done. Let's see if the lights will come on. There we go. This goes into a ground in here. And to charge my batteries, I'll use this to actually get them fully charged. Ground into the breaker and then plug it in and do it that way but this this is not why we're here so lately in the comment section I've been going back and forth with some people about the power converter and what it's supposed to do what it's not supposed to do apparently there's jumpers but anyhow I have never contacted the manufacturer about it so what i did is like what most people say to do run your batteries down so i have a battery monitor which you guys have seen before we're at 94 percent right now it's drawing an amp and it's at 188.2 amp hours so what i'm getting at i got back from camping we cleaned the camper up. We, uh, I left it unplugged from shore power. So that means I was running the fan, turning on the lights, you know. I wanted to run down the lithium ions as, as far as I can, okay. So I ran them down to 4%. So when I ran them down to 4%, I was like, all right, you know, this has got to be good, you know. And you look in your panel, there's always these, uh, lights on there's a green and an orange well those lights were on and even until I drew them dead so I plugged it in it's like okay go to work for a few days you know the next day I turn around look they're still charging lights never changed and then you know, like somebody said you got to beef up the cable I'm not beefing up the cable my 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 temporary fix being able to throw a smart charger on it and it actually runs through my shunt for my battery monitor i'm good you know at least i know what's coming in and going out so i did it that way so and when i was camping i ran the generator plugged that in and then ran the smart charger at the same time and yeah it charged the lithium ions up pretty quick you know which is good you know so, somebody just recently put in the comments that their, their one for lead acid broke and they don't have any parts and can they update it with the AD? Yes, you can, you can update this converter because I still have my old one. That's the part number, WF8735. This one's the AD, the other one's the P. The one is strictly for lead acid. And it, like another thing is too, is when I was going through all the research and everything, trying to figure out what's going on, I never had to change this for my lithium ions. Because the lithium ions will still charge on the lead acid profile. You'll get them up to maybe 80, 90%. They'll still work. And I'm thinking it's like, Shouldn't have upgraded that. I should have just stuck with the smart charger and just been done. But apparently the manufacturers have been having issues and problems, you know, with those. And it's like, you know what? I ain't worried about it. I'm not going to deal with it. I'll just deal with it my own way. I'm pretty handy. You know, I installed the stuff myself. So, other than that, yeah, still stuck on the lead acid profile. 
has not switched over to lithium. Am I worried about it? Nope. It'll still work. If I knew now what I knew then, I would have never changed that out. Took, took me an hour and a half to change that out. And maybe 140 bucks or something like that. I would have never done it. I would have just stuck with a smart charger for 60 bucks for what I paid for that. And that actually works better than that thing. But other than that, I mean, am I happy with the product? Not really. Does it work? Yeah, it works. But that's the only issue. But like everybody says, you know, put the switch back in. But even I ran my batteries down to 4% and it still didn't switch over. So I, I don't know how the software works. I don't know how it works. But it's got... 10 gauge wire that runs from there all the way up to the front to the uh to the batteries where it connects and then it's eight gauge from there so it goes from 10 to 8 i'm not i'm not going to run eight gauge because it's not going to it's not going to be able to connect into the back of that i'd have to run a buzz bar down underneath there and and then i just run a whole new ground and i'm, I'm not doing it nope not spending any more money on it when i just got to temporary fix or permanent fix in my book but other than that everything works other than that when you get these travel trailers i gotta order more lights as you see this one's flashing so i got a few more i gotta change out because uh where is it at is it this one right here this one which is nice i can uh I can make it blue another nice thing is it's like these ones are dimmable see how it gets brighter which is really good because I can conserve my power but now it seems kind of funny I got the lights on now the fans kicking out orange lights off it's charging them so, but other than that, yeah, that's my update. I ran them down to 4%, nothing changed. I'm just, I'm going to leave it. It would be nice, you know, they had a switch. I'm not sending it in, I'm not fixing it, nothing. This camper is already three years old. Three or four, I bought it in 2019, brand new. So, any updates I've done to it, I've done myself. Here I go ranting, but other than that, it does what I need it to do. It charges the batteries and runs the lights until it quits charging the batteries and quits running the lights. Then, then I'll change it out. But between this one and the one I pulled out, ain't much of a difference. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Make sure you give a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe hit that bell notification and yeah hopefully pretty soon we can get out on that water catch some bass i got my poles all set up and ready to go gotta get the kayak down make sure the battery's charged for that and then we can get out on the lake but until then stay tuned you might see it